I was recently reached out to by the company FixDry to test out their two-spool compatible filament dryer. This product is basically a small isolated box that you can load with two spools of old filament that has moisture trapped inside of it to slowly bake out the moisture and get your older filament to print like it's brand new again. There are a lot of videos online showing how baking old and human filament at a low temperature for a long time helps with improving the print quality of that filament. In this video, instead of showing that over again, I'm going to do an unboxing and setup of the filament dryer box and then use a thermocouple to test the temperature accuracy of the product displayed on the LED screen. However, if you are interested in seeing some of those videos to understand how baking filament at a low temperature for a long time does get out humidity and make the filament print like brand new again, I'll link some of those videos in the description. Let's get started in this video by unboxing and setting up the filament dryer. It came neatly packaged with a cover, the base, and a small bag with instructions, a fan shroud, and a Teflon tube. The cover of the dryer has small holes in it with bushings that allow you to print directly from the box itself using this Teflon tube, which I'll show later in this video. The cover fits nicely on the dryer to ensure that the heated air does not have any unintended leaks. The included instruction booklet nicely labels what everything does and where the air inlet is to ensure that it is not blocked by the user which could cause issues heating up and maintaining a desired temperature. The fan shroud clicks in very easily and the Teflon tube simply goes through one of the holes in the cover. The manual also includes a table showing what temperature to put what filament for how long to optimally bake out the moisture. I currently only have PLA, so I'm going to start by testing 50 degrees Celsius for a 4 hour bake, which is what is recommended within the table in the manual. The filament simply sits on top of the base and then the cover can be secured to the base. Once plugged in and powered up, the menu button is pressed to swap between the temperature and time settings depending on what you want to change and then the plus and minus buttons raise and lower the value. Like I said before, I'm going to be heating up some PLA, so I'm going to set this to reach 50 degrees and then run for four hours. It does take some time to heat up. I kept coming in to check periodically, but it seemed to reach and stay at 47 degrees Celsius after about an hour and 10 minutes of running. To verify that the box is actually reaching the temperature that it's displaying, I bought a thermocouple to put probes on the inside of the box and then compare it to that temperature on the LED screen. I set the box to go to 50 degrees Celsius again with two thermocouple probes on the inside. Notice that the temperature values on the two probes are not identical. That's because I positioned the probes in two different areas, so one probe could be closer to where the hot air comes in and the other could be further. The T2 probe is positioned closer to where the filament dryer box's thermocouple is positioned, which is why it seems to match that of the dryer box's display. This time it did reach 50 degrees Celsius after about an hour and 20 minutes and maintained that temperature for the remaining 2 hours and 40 minutes I had. Overall, it seems that the filament dryer box's temperature readout is accurate enough for this application, and it's very nice to be able to print directly from it so you can keep your filament in the isolated environment. Before taking all of my video clips and then editing this video, I wanted to test that the filament dryer could reach 70 degrees accurately, which is the recommended temperature to bake polycarbonate or nylon filament. I did notice a weird issue where the temperature reading would shoot up when it didn't actually heat up. As you can see in this section of the video, when I change the set temperature value from 70 to 50, the temperature reading, which should be at room temp, which is around 20 degrees Celsius, jumps right up to 34 degrees Celsius. The thermocouples confirm that it actually is closer to 20 degrees Celsius in the box. I ended up letting it run while it was set to 70 degrees Celsius to see if it would eventually correct itself as it heated up, but when it did eventually read 68 degrees Celsius on the dryer box, my thermocouples were still reading between 42 and 46 degrees Celsius. I did not notice this issue at 60 degrees where ABS is recommended to be dried at. After observing this temperature discrepancy, I reached out to FixDry and they suggested that my thermocouple could be located far from the sensor, but that suggestion didn't really match the problem at hand. I then sent them the clip displayed in this video and they then stated that at higher temperatures an algorithm is used to introduce a coefficient to calculate the temperature of the air outlet, since these higher temperatures could damage the drying consumables. Their responses were fast and they had great support, but I didn't fully understand this, as the readings at 70 degrees on my thermocouples were similar to my readings when the dryer box was set to 50 degrees. 
I can definitely recommend this product to be used for PLA and ABS since it seems to reach those temperatures and hold them without any issue, but I'm truly unsure about how this algorithm and coefficient work at higher temperatures. If you do need a higher temperature for drying the filament you use, I would keep this in mind when making your purchase. Aside from this finding, which might not actually be an issue based on fixed dry's response, I'm very happy with this product, specifically since I really only print in PLA. It can easily hold two full spools of filament, and I really appreciate the ability to print directly from the box to keep the filament isolated and dry. Thank you for watching the video, and please subscribe if you feel that it helps give an honest review of this product. If you'd like to purchase this product or any other fixed dry product, I have my affiliate link to their website linked in the description, along with a discount code CAS10 for 10% off of all fixed dry products. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.